Yo guys, what's up, Shadow here, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers! Today we shall uh, be constructing a bit more of this hangar. Um, mainly I want to deal with these edges, and then I want to start working on the lighting system inside of the hangar. Especially when it comes to the timer block thingy that I have in mind. But, let's just first, you know... Um, start construction on the outside, and I think I'm gonna do this like so with these uh, corner blocks and then just going into a uh, um, slope like so. I think that looks okay, doesn't it? I think that works. So let's just do that real quick. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let me actually just put these in all over the place. Then down here the same thing. And then all the slopes. Just like that. Alright. And then we'll put in, afterwards, we'll put in that lighting system that I was talking about. That, um, that pulsating light that either goes from in to out or f um, from the outer edge to the inner edge. It's like pulsating. You'll see what I mean. Um, and I have to put down a bunch of timer blocks for that. That should work. I'm not quite sure if, it, if we have, if we want to do it in the... Um, in both directions then we will have to like double up on the timer blocks we'll see if, if um if we'll do that but yeah um let's see so that is welded that's almost welded there you go oh this one is not yet hold your phone there you go Okay, so now let's let's just start with that lighting system. I would say. So, do we want to have corner lights as well? Kind of like, let's see. If we put every second block, how many do we get in? One, two. Uh, w hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Perfect. I think that is perfect. So, let's put in four corner lights, like so. And then, I would say one in the middle. Like this. Right? all and then we have to name these meticulously otherwise it will be annoying to set it up later well, let me just go over here so corner lights so that's these four we're gonna call these hangar ring one light that's what we're gonna call all of these and then there's ring two ring three up to ring seven There you go. And now we can technically... Oh, whoops. There we go. Now we can technically search for that and we can also group these. That would make it even easier afterwards. There you go. Now we go one further. Probably we'll have to stock up on more... Uh, materials but uh we'll do that when we come to it there you go also i'm not quite sure about the color yet you know what color these lights will be because they, these lights are not for actually you know lighting up the hangar that's not what these lights do necessarily they're more for like um 
almost decorational purposes, I would say. Oh yeah, okay. So these are gonna be... Um, let's see, ring two. Just put them all in. Oh, there we go. Corner lights, four at a time. Search for them and group them. There you go. Next. Ah, see, there we go. Run out of construction components. Yeah, we need a bunch more of those. If we want to finish this in a timely manner. There you go, 202. That's, that's more like it. No, 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 no. Inventory full. There you go. There uh, is one, two, three, four lights. There you go. I really hope that if I use the, this this hanger, that if I fly close to the ceiling or the bottom, that the thrusters will not destroy the lights. That's something, you know... At, for one, I, I like the, the thruster damage thingy. So that you cannot build, like, ridiculous things where the thrusters are on the inside of a ship. Well, you still can do that if you do it right, but, you know... I like that, but then, on the other hand, I find it weird that... Basically, like, landing pads get destroyed by thrusters. That is... or... You know, I know you can build, like, heavy armor tr thruster pads, but then if you have, like, lighting on it, or if you have, like, a... a connector in the, in the bottom, or maybe some writing on the landing pad, that gets destroyed every time. That is really annoying. So, in a lot of, like, creative worlds that I have, I actually turn thruster damage off, because... Ugh, it's just it's just annoying if, if um, these if you have like Energy a beautiful landing low. pad you know uh, for example I did a um, like a yeah like an airport kind of thingy with a long runway and then every like 10 blocks on that runway there is a connector hidden in the floor well it's not really hidden it's just like a, a little hole with a, a piston in it and a connector and then Basically, it's meant in a way that it doesn't matter how or where the connector is on your ship. You can just basically land appropriately on one of these connectors and then just connect. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose system. And it works quite well, but yeah. I, I also put lettering next to the, uh, um, the connectors in the floor. So you could basically say as the controller in the tower of that airport you could say oh um your ship please um dock on connector number seven and then from the air you could see oh yeah like, look there's this number seven we'll go there right but the problem is yeah if if your thrusters are aligned in a certain way you will destroy um these numbers every time you come to land and that is so annoying so yeah often i will turn trust damage off because of exactly that it is Unfortunate, because it is technically, it, it's a good idea, but it should be solved differently, you know? I have the feeling. Not necessarily with thruster damage, but, you know, in the, so that thrusters don't work if they're blocked off or something. But I guess that's quite difficult to do, I would imagine. Alright, we are on number four right now. There we go. Energy critical. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I'm very aware. Thank you. Only three more to go. And then we can start putting in timer blocks in the uh, the maintenance layer. That's where these will go. And I think we'll do one set first. Just um, with the... Uh, in one configuration and then if I have the feeling that it looks weird or that it might look cool with going in different directions, we'll have to figure out how to do that as well. I guess then we'll have to do a, like a second set of timer blocks plus maybe one more 
to switch. Basically one timer block that will say deactivate all other timer blocks. Maybe even two. You know, deactivate all other... All lights and then start the sequence number two or something like that. I'll have to check. Yeah, let's just fill it up again. Why not? Uh, energy, 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 energy. Woo! That was close. But yeah, um, I think that should work. So basically every timer block will, will do the same. So like timer block one will activate ring one. And then start the timer block number two. And timer block number two, once it's triggered, will um, deactivate ring one, activate ring two. And then start timer block three. It, it's a very simple sequence. And then the last timer block will activate the last ring and then start the timer on timer block one again. So it's a yeah, very simple sequence really. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Um, so wait. Oh yeah, the last ring I actually didn't uh, I didn't commission the last ring in here. Hold on. I have to do that real quick. Unfortunately, now I can just take the lights that are complete for the ring 5. Good thing I did that. I did not weld the others yet. There you go. Corner lights. Actually, the corner lights I didn't even place yet. Even better. Okay, that's ring five. Hold on, did that work? Block group, save. Why doesn't that work? That's weird. Oh, yeah, it, it, it did work. Okay, so five, one, two... Why is five at the top? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, it doesn't matter. Maybe I spelled it w differently for us, for some reason. <laughs> Could imagine that I made a spelling mistake, even though I copied it. But, hey, there you go. Okay. Go. That's ring number six. Complete. Uh, hold on. There you go. Interior lights, that's ring number... Maybe I put in like one space more? No, it doesn't look like it. Weird. And then corner... Cor cor corner lights. Oh, ah, oh shit. That's not good. Which one is this? That's... That's ring five, for some reason. Why didn't I... That's weird. That's very weird indeed. Okay. Corner... So, this corner light is still ring five. Okay, and then these are ring six. So, ring six, okay. And then if we go for ring five, yeah, see, okay, one, one wrong there, but that should work now, okay. Now, last ring. Last one of the bunch. Okay, that's these. Excellent. And now the simple lights. And that should 
do it. There you go. Okay. Just name these and then we can move on to timer blockage. So we have interior light number seven ring. Same with the corner lights. Everything seems to be in order here. Excellent. There they are. And now we should be seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Cool. Right. So that is um, done. And now we can get ourselves some timer blocks. For these, we need computers, construction components, and interior plates. That should be easy enough. Um, for 10. No, not 10. Actually, let's just pack in for 10. That we would need 300 construction components. I'm not even sure I can take that many. Oh, I can. 300 construction components, 60 interior plates, and then also 50 computers. Excellent. Okay. So these will place in our maintenance layer. That's exactly what this layer is for. There it has space for stuff like that. So let's get ourselves... This looks like a good corner here. Well, maybe not here, actually. Um, here. That looks fine. Why not? Okay, so let's place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven. I mean, like so. So we still have this connection bit here that we can get to. And if we want to have a second row, we can still put it like over here and still have access to that. So. Okay, so here we have our seven timer blocks. That's excellent. Now let's go back down here. And now we need to organize this. So for the timer blocks, um, we'll just name these also. We'll, we'll also name them hangar, ring, one timer. Then, yeah, just like that. Ring two timer. Ring three. Ring four. Ring five. Ring six. And ring seven. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm also gonna add um, this little thingy. So this means forward. Just in case we add a second row that goes backwards, you know? And now we can search just for this. And then we should just get displayed everything. The time blocks and the lights. And I'm gonna turn all the lights off per default. Now we need to set this up. So set, um, what should delay be? Let's set the delay on all of these to, um, let's try it with two seconds. So that means after two seconds, the next um, light basically triggers. So the setup action will be as follows. We'll have um, ring, hold on, I think it should be toggle. So right now they're off. So if this timer block gets hit, it will turn on ring one lights. And it also has to toggle technically, um, you know what? Let's do these in the right order. Um, toggle or um, not toggle. Let's be sure. T toggle block off. Ring seven lights will be toggled off. And ring one lights will be toggled on. And then it will take... That's actually really aesthetically pleasingly aligned here. I like that. <laughs> then timer two will be started. And that's the action of number one. Number two... will have... Um, 
ring one toggle off and then toggle on on ring two and then start timer three and that's just how it's gonna be for all of these very simple and this should give us like a pulsating light from the back of the hangar to the front i'm not quite sure why i called this forward but hey there you go so this one will um, toggle two off, toggle three on, and then start number four. Right. And then on number four, we'll toggle three off, toggle four on, start number five. On number five. You just have to check that you don't accidentally um, put something wrong in. <laughs> Alright, number six started. And then number six will turn off number five and turn on number four. And start number seven. And number seven. Turns off six. Turns on seven. And then starts number one. There we go. And now, if we just start. Alright. Mm, I think I have to put down the delay time. I think one second will be better. Back to one. Excellent. That works. Cool. Very cool indeed. Okay. But yeah. We'll uh, ring timer. There you go. There they all are. Um, we will put the delay to one second. It would be really cool if the timer blocks could be um, put to an even smaller delay. The thing is, you could do this in another way too. You could technically do this with um, just blinking and with blink offset. But I, li I kind of like it this way. Also, this means we can easily do the reversible without any... Uh, um, programmable block shenanigans, which I'm not really familiar with, so... I'm sure with um, programmable blocks, it probably could do this really smoothly. There you go. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to increase... Um, the lights a little bit to let's say 4.5 and I'm actually not sure about the color let's make the color blue let's see how that looks yeah it kind of should be faster in my opinion but hey it's really sad that uh, sometimes I wish um, the uh, customization for some of these things, for example, for the timer blocks, could be like in milliseconds instead of just seconds. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. But hey, there you go. Now we could also do the... Um, I suppose the, the backwards variant. Why not do the backwards variant, mm. right? Let's do that. Let me get uh, a whole bunch of... Uh, more components so i think we had like what 300 of these and i think um not sure how many we had of these i think we had 60 of the computers yeah that will be enough okay so basically now we're gonna do oh here now you can actually see the <laughs> the way it travels that's kind of cool so now we'll add a second row of timer blocks here there we go 
go. And I think we can just configure this right up here. Let's go to the timer blocks. And we'll call these the same way. We'll call these just like that, but we'll call them backwards. Actually, we should start just so it's aesthetically pleasing and it goes actually the other way. We should um, uh, no number these in the other direction. You know what I mean? So this is one and this is is um, number seven. It means that if you watch it on the actually here on the maintenance deck, the the blue thingy that you see here will go the other way around. I think that's quite pleasing. <laughs> so this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. And then I think if we want to just have one button to switch directions, I think we need two additional timer blocks if we want to do that. One that switches it. Hold on, let me think about this. So if I press the button, what it has to do, it has to turn off all the lights. Ah, wait, this is gonna be tricky. I think we could, the way we could do this, I believe, is if we group these timer blocks, so timer B, like these, if we group these to um, hanger ring time, time, timer B, and the other ones to ring timer F, then what we could do is we just have one of these groups always turned off and then what did the switch timer does is it, it just um, toggles on off both groups and then starts both groups which then means that only the group that is actually turned on will start uh, we'll, we'll have to test if that works um, so this is gonna be the uh, timer switch there you go. And now we have to obviously, um, all the timer Bs will have to be uh, set to delay one second. And then the timer switch. Uh, I don't think this will really be important, but we'll just put it in anyway. Okay, and now for the B. Oh, um, yeah, I just realized I did something weird right now. Anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, the way I just did it um, actually means that the signals go the right way around. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have now, now it's also aligned quite curiously here. So this is the backwards, the backwards thingy. Oh yeah, okay, see now I did a weird thing. For the backwards, we obviously have to start with um, with number seven, don't we? Yeah, we'll have to start with number seven. So number seven. There we go, we'll just search for that. Number seven will um, turn off number one. Turn on number seven and then start... Um, Backwards timer six. Oh yeah, now it's getting complicated, see? <laughs> but I think that's correct. And then... Backwards six... Turns off seven, turns on six... Starts backwards timer five... And here... Turn off six, turn on five, start four. Turn off five, start, uh, turn on four, start backwards three. Right, and then on three, same thing, turn off four, Turn on three, start two. Almost done. Two. 
Turn off, turn on. Start one. And then... Last but not least, one. We'll have... Uh, turn off two. Start one. Start timer seven. Okay. And now... What we all have to do... We'll go to this thingy here. This one will do the following. This will... Um, we have... Wait, do, didn't we group both timer block groups? Hold on. Timer F. No, we didn't group the F timers for some reason. Hangar ring timer F. There, that's better. Okay. So what this one will do... It will... Yeah, it will toggle on off both of these, one of which we will manually toggle on off now, and then it will start both of these. And it has to start both because it doesn't know which one is going to be on. Right? And now to make this work, we have to um, the backwards because that's the one that is not active now. So we'll toggle this one off. Right? There we go. That's off. And now, let's go back down here. Um, there we go. And I don't think it matters where the light is at the moment. So if we go to switch. And we'll trigger now. Ooh. Ooh, that is not what I expected it to do. Oh, that is weird. Now we have... Hmm. Okay, that did something weird. That did something extremely weird. Hold on. Let's let's go up here and see what just happened. Oh, hold on. So... There's now two of these running. Hmm. I think it has to do something else. It has to kind of like, um, yeah, we have to we have to make this clearer. Um, so, I think the the switch on off that is okay, but it first has to probably, actually, before we do on off, first it probably has to stop both groups completely. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I think I know my error. I know the error of my ways. I think I have to get all the lights and group them. Ring lights all. I think that's what I have to do. I have to get all the, um, all the lights and group them in one. Like so. Anger ring lights all. And then what I have to do is I have to, in the setup action, I will stop both timers. Then I will toggle off all the lights. Then I will toggle both of these and then start both of these. I think, oh no, not stop, start. Um, hanger, hold on. Oh, god damn it. Stop timer B, stop timer F. Both toggle and then both start. That should work. Okay. And now it probably should also work even from this fucked up state that it is in now. That should technically reset it. So um, let's go to the switch. Trigger now. Energy low. Why is it doing that? That is so weird.
I'm not 100% sure what causes this error. Because technically... Technically, this should reset it. It turns off all the lights and then it starts... Oh, hold on, I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just realized it. I stalled, start all the timers at once. That is obviously dumb. Yeah, I just realized. Mm -mm -mm. I just freaking realized it. Ah, uh, that was dumb. Okay, okay, now I, now I know. So, it doesn't have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay to um, basically turn off all the timers. That is okay, but then it only has to start um, with the first one. Obviously. Or with, well, with the backwards it has to start on, on, on 7. And with the forward it has to start on 1. There you go. That's how it works. That is how it should work. <laughs> it looks kind of cool too, whatever is going on here, but it is kind of random, to be fair. So now, hit the switch. Yeah, okay, now it works. Now if we go back here, and control panel, switch, let's trigger now. Yeah, okay, now it works. So now what we can do is we can just um, go to our control center and then just put that on one of the control panel. Like, I know this one technically doesn't... See well, it ca actually kind of sees it because it's bleeding through. Maybe I should fix that, huh? Ring light. Let's just fix that real quick. Oh, I can just select all of these. Okay, now it's going forward. There we go. If we put it down to 3.5, I think that will work. Okay. So now we can just put this um, the switch. We can just put that on here with a trigger now. So whenever I press this... Now it goes backwards. You can actually still see it bleeding through just a bit. But only at the front. That's good. Excellent. So that works now. I'm happy. And yeah, I think that is the main hanger bit done. That means now we can start working. Actually, maybe I will... Like, you know what? Let's just um, put some more lights in here. This is not going to be hanger. Well, they're going to be hanger lights, but they're more going to be like actual lights. There you go. Maybe I will change the light, or uh, the color of these as well. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, new interior lights. So these are going to be hangar lights, normal. Just going to have these four back here. Maybe I should actually put some more in, like, over here and on the freaking ceiling. There we go. New lights here. Oh, whoops, we didn't weld them all because we're idiots. Or, I'm an idiot, you're not. <laughs> I wouldn't call you an idiot. I know that I am sometimes. I don't know you, so... There you go. Right. Let's... Uh, wh what do we call them? Nor uh, hanger, hanger light normal. That's what we call them. Set them all to 8.5. About, just about... There we go. So now we have some lights here. And we have that going on now. Awesome. Cool. So that's going to be it for today. Next time we're going to start working on the next um, part below the hangar. Whatever that is going to be. Um, there still needs to be one part with um, gyroscopes. And there needs to be, or I want there to be, a refinery of some sort. Refinery and um, assembly plant. Something along those lines. So yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and uh, take care.